Hi there and welcome to Darlene's Creative Studio. Today is December 6th and it is day 6 of our December daily challenge. Um, today is actually my birthday. So I got a little reminiscent last night when I was coming up with a layout for December 6th. It came up as tis the season. I'm just looking for it. Tis the season and for me um, going back and remembering, I have a very large family and we used to get together and go, uh, one Christmas we went to a farm and we rented their barn and we had our Christmas get together in their barn with a big Christmas tree and we went on a hayride with their horses around their field and it was just a lot of fun. It was one of the last years that my dad was alive so it was just so nice to have the whole family together. So this Tis the Season is just kind of a reminiscent of what I remember as my Christmases, get to getting together with our family. So um, for day six, um, this was day five and I haven't made my lists yet. Let me get out of the way. Um, I was going to use this one as tis the season. Um, I used a large roll. I have this washi tape that I received from, I believe I purchased this. I don't think it came in your creative studio, it might have. Um, but I covered this whole lined page with <laughs> with the washi tape and then just covered up the writing and I kind of liked the way it looked. I didn't want to put anything on top of it. So I'm going to just leave this page because I know I have lots of extra pages in this journal. I'm going to skip this and leave this just the way it is. I might put a couple of little snowflake stamps on this or something, but I really like the way this looks. So we're going to move to the next page and use this as day six for my Tis the Season. And again, um, rem remembering family Christmases. Um, I really love Christmas and I love decorating for Christmas. So I started to go through these old children's book pages from a song book that I had. And I just pulled out anything that was Christmas. There's one with a little guy feeding the birds, tobogganing, reading a story. And then I found this one. And as soon as I saw, saw this picture, and I just ripped out around the edges of it, just tearing with my hand, just um, around the edges there, it just reminded me of that, that Christmas that we went on the hayride. And there was all of us there, all the grandkids, my sisters and all their children, and my mom and dad, and it was just wonderful. It was a really, really nice Christmas. So this reminded me of that, us being on the hayride and singing, and you know, it was a hokey Christmas, but it was fun. Um, so I'm going to use that on this page and I just have this little tiny postcard here that is card stock and I'm just gonna throw that up in the corner there for a little pizzazz. We try and get together with my side of the family um, before Christmas every year and I think there's about 24 of us now maybe more with some of the little grandchildren um, but it's always been fun we've always managed to get together this would be the first year I think that we haven't been able to get together as as a group and we're everyone's finding it very difficult because it was just something we always look forward to it's kind of when we caught up with all the the nieces and nephews and the grandkids and it's just not the same this year so when I started doing this one, I thought this will be perfect. This will remind me of all those times that we got together. And what better day to do it is than on my birthday. So I'm just going to distress the edges of this um, with some vintage photo, I believe is the color I'm using. And then I'm just going to put this on there like that to cover up that page. And this, like I say, just reminds me of the good old days <laughs> when we used to get together and just have so much fun. The kids all went out and built snowmen out by the barn. I think we even did some tobogganing. There was a little hill there. I think we did everything that, that night, that afternoon. Opened all our gifts. My mom read, um, read Twas the Night Before Christmas to all the kids. And we had a potluck. Everybody brought something and 
had like a little kitchen in the barn. It was just a lovely little farm. Somebody we grew up with had a local little farm and did this. So there we go. We're going to put this in there. Like that. And again, that just reminds me of us all being on the, <laughs> the wagon and the horses pulling the wagon. And then we actually got stuck and everybody had to get off the wagon <laughs> and all the guys had to push it out of the hole. Yeah, just one of those type of Christmases, you know, that you just don't forget. Um, and then I thought I would take this little guy and put it up here as a little tag. And I might be able to just throw, let's throw one of these Merry Christmas thingies up here, just to cover up some of these words. There, and then I'm going to throw this guy on there like that. And I'm going to use Fabri-Tac for this because I'm gluing fabric to paper, and I want to make sure that it adheres. I'm trying to get this video recorded because my husband has gone out to buy me some Timmy's and we're going to sit and have a tea and a donut or a muffin or whatever he brings me back. So I'll try to get this done before he comes back so we can have a nice cup of tea together. All right. So this just had a little piece of canvas or um, muslin behind it. And then this was a tag that from one of my scrapbooking um, pads. I just glued that onto the muslin and frayed the edges a little bit. I was going to use that in another project and just never used it. So that kind of covers up any of the words and stuff. And then tis the season. I've lost it already. <laughs> Everything is so jumbled here. I think I might put tis the season right across there like that. And I'm just going to trim it up a bit because it is quite bulky. So we'll just trim this up a little tiny bit. Excuse me. Okay. So that was just a phone call. Somebody wishing me happy birthday. <laughs> so I had to answer the phone. All right. So we're going to take the little backing off. Tis the season. And I'm just going to add that to the center of this little tab. So there we go. So that shows there. Tis the season. And this is day. Oh. My desk is such a mess. I've lost all my numbers. Here it is. Oops. Dropping things on the ground. Today is day six. So I'm going to put the number six way up here. I think in this corner. There's day six. And then I think I'm going to add... I have some cute little stamps and stuff here, and I think I might try and add one or two of those. I have that snowflake that I added from before. Let's see. These are like little postage stamps. One is a stocking, and one is a present. So I might use those two. Let's try those two. stocking and then there's a little present here somewhere this one put him on there put him right there that's pretty I've lost my paper that I stamp on. It's buried under everything. There we go. All the excess off. So we have that. And then I'm going to leave this space here. I want to write um, some memories, but I also might just throw in 
a little card in the center and maybe have something that I can journal on and put in there or maybe a little envelope. Oh, that's what I could do. A little clear envelope on the bottom here. So I'm not really covering up too much of the, um, of the picture. Let's see what we have here. Let's cover up that ink before I stick something in it. <clears throat> so these are all my little envelopes and stuff and I have some clear envelopes. I don't want to cover up too much of the picture. I have these little ones. I might do that and cut that off. <clears throat> Let's cut this part off. Oops, like that. And then I could put this down in the bottom here and I can put a little tag in there. Or I have another little one here. I'm thinking I might, thinking I might put that on there and put something inside, a journaling card inside of it. And then just have that flip up. And I'm going to cut this back a little bit because I'm thinking this might be too hard to get the journaling card in. But that way I'm only covering up a little bit of the tree. You can still see the tree behind it and there will be a card in here that you'll be able to see. Yeah, because I really don't want to cover up this. This this really, you know, is giving me a lot of memories. So I think I'm going to do that. And then what I might do is actually stamp. I have the snowman. See if it stamps on this envelope. It's, it's um, a vellum envelope, so it might not. Oops, wrong stamp pad I'm going for. So let's see. This guy stamps out all right. I have my paper here. <clears throat> Oops, <laughs> something stuck to it. So I think this guy will go right on the corner here. Like that. Oops, try to put that on there. And then I have, believe it or not, a little word that says, tis the season. Yes, and I'm going to put that, I don't know if you can see all this because I'm kind of off camera a bit. Yep. I'm going to stick this up in the corner like that. Perfect. And I'm going to let that dry a little bit because I know it's going to be wet being on the vellum. And then that's going to go on there like that. And then I just need to find, these are some um, vellum pages, but they're that I put over top of things, but I think they're just a little too thin. So now I just need to measure the size of this envelope so that I can put something inside of it. So let's see how big this little envelope is. And I don't want to smudge him. He is about four and three quarters by three inches. So I need to find a little card that can go in there. He's too big. I have this little card that I just absolutely love. He's adorable. Jolly little fella. And I have this little guy, <laughs> another card that I found, and I think he's absolutely adorable. So I might just try and cut him as the um, size that I need instead of cutting the snowman too small. So I'm just going to measure this one more time. So I know it can be three inches. Ooh, don't smudge. And it's got to be at least four and three, a little bit smaller than four and three quarters. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this and see what that looks like. So let's cut him off. I want the mistletoe. I know it has to be three inches, so that should be good. So there's three inches wide. Well, that's going to be perfect. Let's go four and three quarters and see if it fits inside. I have to cut it a little smaller. I will. And I'm just going to flip this over again. It's just a little tiny bit wet. Yeah, I'm going to have to go a little tiny bit smaller. And I think I'm going to cut it off the top of the mistletoe. Let's go 
more than one. Then I know I'm safe. <laughs> anyway, so there is my little card, journaling card that I'm going to put inside the envelope and I'm going to just glue this down to the page and then this little squirrely guy will be in the inside. And it should be okay, but I'm not going to set it on there. I'm going to use regular glue for this. I'm just gluing the flap. Let's pick this guy up and put him right in the corner here. Like that. Open it up. And I'm just going to rub that down a bit so I can still see my picture underneath. And then this little guy will slide in here. And I'll be able to journal on my memories of Christmas way back when. Oops, and close it. Pink. <laughs> there we go. So there is my Tis the Season. And I might actually take my distress brush and take some of the distress ink and just kind of do the edges. I'm trying to give it that vintage memories, vintage memories of days gone by. And that's exactly what this means for me. So I really enjoyed this one. As soon as I saw these um, little guys tobogganing, I knew that was the one I was going to use for this page. And that's what the season is all about for me. Family and getting together and just celebrating the year. Not that this year had a lot to celebrate. It was a, a very strange year and I think a lot of people are going to be happy to see this year end and a new year begin. And hopefully we can look to the future and do some traveling. We really miss going to see our, our son and his little guys. He sent us a video and the little guy's walking. Oh my gosh, he's taking his first steps. So we're missing out on a lot. So as I'm sure a lot of you are feeling the same way. So there is day six. Tis the season. This is what the season is all about for me. Getting together with family and just celebrating Christmas. So there you go. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you tomorrow.